let's take a look at how we can go about downloading the free version of DaVinci Resolve 19. Now I will leave a link to the Blackmagic Design website in the pinned comment below in the description of this video where you can find the area to access this. Now if we scroll down just a little bit then we can see that we have DaVinci Resolve free download now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this area here and we have four different options here. We have 18.6 this is the free version of 18.6, and this is the paid studio version of 18.6. But we're actually going to download the public beta for version 19. Now here to the left, this is going to be the free version. So over to the right where you see DaVinci Resolve Studio, this is the paid version and you will be required to input a key. We're specifically focusing on the left here. Now I am on Windows x86 so just choose your version if you're on mac you can choose here or linux or if you're on arm for windows so i'm going to grab the x86 for myself and just click on that we're then taken to a form where we need to fill in a bit of information here so i'm going to go ahead and take care of this and we'll be back in just a moment okay so i've inputted my information i'm going to scroll down and then at the bottom right hand corner we have register and download i'll go ahead and click on that and then we can see we have a window confirming that we are now downloading. And then if I look in the top right hand corner here within the Chrome browser, we can see activity in the download. So if I click on this, let's go ahead and open this up in a new tab. And we can see that our DaVinci Resolve 19 is now being downloaded. So I'm going to let this complete and we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so our download is nearly complete and I actually changed the default location for my downloads within Chrome. So if I minimize the window here, we can see that this is where it is being downloaded to. But if you have not changed your location and you're on Windows, if you open up your Explorer window, typically you're going to find it within the download section here. So you'll wanna go there after it's finished downloaded. And we just have a couple of minutes left here. Okay, so now we are good to go. This is finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and close out the browser. Let's come over to our desktop and we can see our zipped folder for the DaVinci Resolve 19. Let's go ahead and right click on that. And then I'm going to choose to extract all and we'll just extract here. Let's click on extract in the bottom right hand corner. That's now been extracted. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the downloaded zip folder and just drag that to the trash. Let's then come to the extracted folder here and double click. And then here we can see our installation file, the EX, EXE rather. So I'm gonna double click on this. We then have our user account control asking us if we're sure we want to install DaVinci Resolve. You may not see this within the video, but if you're a Windows user, you are familiar with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Let's go ahead and close out our Explorer window. And then we have some selections that we can make here. I don't have any control panels, so I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. I will leave the raw player selected. Uh, the audio accelerator, I don't have one of their fancy audio cards, so we'll leave that deselected. And then we have our DaVinci Resolve, the application itself, and Visual C++. I'll go ahead and leave these selected. Let's go ahead and click on Install. Okay, we now have our installation wizard. Let's go ahead and click on Next. And we'll go ahead and accept the license agreement. And then Next. Here's our installation path. That looks good to me and let's choose install. Okay, so it looks like everything has been completed. Let's go ahead and click on finish. And now the Microsoft Visual C++ is being installed. To complete the installation, you must restart your computer. Would you like to restart now? I'm gonna click on no because I'd like to stop my screen capture software. So, but we have a notification that installation is complete. I'll click on OK. I'm going to go ahead and stop my screen capture, restart my computer, and we'll be back in just a moment. I've now restarted and we can see that we have a shortcut that has been placed on our desktop. I'm actually going to click hold and drag this to the taskbar so that I can have a link here to open the application up. 
but we'll use the shortcut. I'll just double click on this to launch the application. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and double click on Untitled Project. And it looks like we are in business here. And you can begin editing until your heart's content. Now, if you're just getting started with DaVinci Resolve and you would like to speed up your learning curve, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training via Zoom. So you can check out more information on that in the pinned comment below or the description of this video. And within the Zoom meeting, you can share your screen with me and you can even allow me control over your DaVinci Resolve application so I can guide you through all of the features and topics that you would like to learn. So instead of spending hours online searching Google or through the manual, I can answer your questions in an immediate fashion and you can get started much more quickly within DaVinci Resolve getting your ideas out. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial.